Right. How are you guys? Uh, welcome to my channel. I've been off air for some time now. Um, good to see you. Good, good work to see you guys online today. Um, it wasn't really planned today because, uh, but I need to come to you uh, because quite a lot of things have been happening lately. Uh, people have been getting, you know, getting tr um, messed up with um, the attitude and practices of um, contractors. Um, we have been getting complaints from what the contractors are doing lately. Please, if you are to get engaged contractors, there are certain things you need to start watching out. First and foremost, you must get a proper estimate. You must get a proper estimate. Do not let contractors that was introduced to you by family members, by friends, by colleagues, do not let them dictate to you. I got a very, very bad news concerning one of my fans. In the past few days, she needed um, a, an estimate from the so-called contractor. They've been chasing this contractor for two weeks for an estimate of a house. These contractors, they are absolutely going for their pocket. I managed, I arranged, I arranged a kind of estimate for our dear friends on, on YouTube. The contractors are so clever to the point where they are taking advantage of people who don't have experience of building, uh, building you know, building um, construction, anything to do with building techni technicalities, they are taking advantage of them. But what I'm trying to do here with these little few minutes I'm going to spend with my friends, because it has become a real, real, real mess nowadays. When you want to start your project, make sure you get a proper, proper estimate from a reputable, well-known, experienced BQ. Right. Estimate doesn't have to be accurate so that you are not going to be manipulated in the end. When you get estimates, get estimate materials, esti estimate material estimates, not labor estimate because labor estimate varies. When you want to start your project, please, we are hustlers abroad. You that you have traveled all around, all from Nigeria, from Africa, to, to improve your life, you are hustlers. Money is not easy to come by. When you buy your piece of land, just make sure you engage the service of a proper, proper estimator. They will estimate the blocks. They will estimate the cement. They will estimate the, 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 the granite. They will estimate the sharp sand and other materials that will be used, the basic materials that will be used to, con, con, to, 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 to bring the property, the building, to a particular level. Now, contractors are so clever nowadays, 
when when you are even after you your estimate has been given to you by a different agro how are you agro I, I miss you guys to be honest with you i really miss you i've got issues with um equipment at the moment that's why i've not been coming on here but you'll be seeing me you know once a while now so the material estimate which you have uh, say for example you're just building a bungalow you're building a two-story or three-story building let me be honest with you material estimate material estimate is very important it is very important when you are doing delivery when you're trying to make construction for your building this will give you a kind of guide as to what how your building is going to go however now get two three estimates some people charge i charge to do estimates for you i will charge to do a proper estimate hey kazim hi how are you ah all right you get right so the estimates that will be done is to give you a proper guide to your uh, construction right when you have an estimate <coughs> You have it on one hand. It is good to have the one that you're going to compare with. Thank you very much, Ejiro. Thank you. It is good to have one that you're going to compare with what the contractor is going to give you. Now, by this, this will guide you as against the improper attitude, behavior of calling contractors. Contractors are very smart nowadays. What they do, they over inflate the prices of basic materials that such as the sharp sand, the granite, the cement, and the block. When you get a proper estimate point from a neutral person completely that doesn't know you, imagine imagine you get I mean you get a proper estimate from somebody who are not you're not given the the building to you're not giving the construction to the person at all just get that estimate on the guide then you now tell your contractor go and bring me an estimate when your contractor gives you an estimate you can compare both or you will not tell your contractor that you have already got another estimate from somebody with these plus or minus you will be able to know how whether your contractor is telling you the truth is over inflating has increased the money of some of these uh, uh, materials a case in point was just one of our fans in the past couple of days we did material estimate for our fans and uh, the contractor also did the contractor did not know that our fund is a very intelligent person the contractor did took ages to do the estimate and by the time we saw the estimate i realized that they have doubled all the materials where they need about 5,000 blocks they made it 7,000 blocks where they need two tipa two lorries of granite they made it three lorries of granite where they need 200 bags of cement they put 400 bags of cement and i can imagine 400 bags of cement if somebody says it's going to use it's supposed to use 200 bags of cement at the rate of 2,500 or 2,600 you can imagine 100 bags is 26 now uh, 2500 of 10 26000 times 10 that's 260000 naira we go into the pocket of this uh, uh contractor same thing goes on the blocks 
The block that was sold for the rate of 200 naira, the, the contractor have inflated the, the, the blocks, the bricks, extra 2,000 blocks. You can imagine what 200 times 2,000 blocks will be. So you use, do your own arithmetic calculation and see how much money these contractors are making from, from people, not to talk of the money that they're going to charge for their service. So I am not going to stay too long today because it's a bit late here in UK. So when you want to, especially those people who are just coming into construction industry, you have to make sure that you do uh, do a neutral estimate, a new a, a neutral estimate compared to what the contractor is going to do. Not brain, no, they can you can't let them brainwash you. Uh, not brainwashed. Okay, right. You won't let them. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's your name. Is not brainwashed. Um, as far as I'm concerned. Take heed of what we are telling you here. You, um, um, you have to be very, very, very careful. In, because these people, people are, contractors are very desperate in Nigeria now. Contractors are desperate. They are looking for who they can just rip off. They want to rip off, rip people off. They want to rip people off of their, of their art and money. So you have to be very, 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 very careful. Please bring. I'm, I'm, I've got five minutes more. I'm not going to stay long. The best thing is to tell someone else to supply materials and always supervise the use of materials. Now, unless you have yes, you, you, you have you have a point there. Unless you have somebody on ground who will not collude with these contractors. How many different codes from different contractors should I obtain before making a decision? You can, no, 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 no. You can get two contractors codes and get a neutral estimate from, um, from a neutral person completely. However, if you don't have anybody on ground who will be at the site monitoring things it's not easy. Some days, some people do have people on ground to monitor things. But the people that they have on ground, have, they connive with contractors. What I will suggest to you, to be able to, I mean, they will still make profit. They will still make money off people. But you have to minimize this. You have to minimize the loss by putting all these checks and balances on the way. So that they will not understand. They will not, they will not. You, you, you have to, you, you, so that they will not eat too much money. Right. What you're going to do, you can get your supplies from different places. If you have people on ground, you, they don't have to supervise. What if I am in Nigeria doing the project? Right. If you're in Nigeria doing the project, don't let the contractors follow you to the place where you, don't let I mean, this is what you do. Don't let the uh, uh, the contractor dictate to you by telling you this is the place where you are going to go and buy, which where you should go and buy your materials. No, 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 no. Do not let the contractor dictate or tell you where to go and source your materials from. As soon as you are on ground, if you are in Nigeria, if you are home, you can go around, take a cab, take one day at a time. Take one day and drive around and look for where this, get the list from the contractor. Get the list from the contractor. The, list, the contractor says, if they want 3,000 blocks. Fine. That's good. If the contractor says, they want 200 bags of cement. That's fine. If the contractor says, they want one, two tippers of granite. That's fine. What you are going to do is take the list from them. If you are home, go around. Go and, go and price these materials, get these material codes, get party with them, make a friend with this uh, the supplier, take their telephone number, store it on your phone, call them from time to time, and find out the variable prices 
of these materials. You can even say they should be supplying you, supplying to your site, to your contractor. I'm uh, sorry, what, what if I'm in a, okay, okay. But you can tell them to supply these materials to your site. Parley with them, give them gift. When you give them something, even if you're not in Nigeria, you parley with them, you give them things all the time. All right? They can, they can do, they can do the best. But your contractor will be, will, will not like this But Who cares? Your contractor is not the one that works for the money. You work for the money. You know how difficult you are able to leave your country in Africa, in Nigeria, in West Africa, in whatever, whatever location from Nigeria or from Africa where you've traveled to come abroad to, to improve your life, to hustle, to make, to, to make things better for you and your family and, to, and the hard work, which you have, the resilient work which you have done to make you get that money. Some, of, some people even borrow the money. They cannot dictate to you. The contractor has no right to dictate to you. You are the one in charge. You are the one paying them. You are the one putting food on the table for them. So you should be firm with them. This is what I want. You cannot, the, the contractors cannot dictate to you. Please bring, bring, I've got four minutes. I'm not going to do a long video. It's just, now, the year is coming to an end now. What about all the, all the, all the, all the videos that we put on, the, on, on, this, on, on YouTube? How many of us have done great things. This is November, November 24. I mean, November 24, 24 yeah. What are, what have we done since beginning of the year? How many, how many, how many phone calls have you made? How many research have you done to be able to buy a plot of land or half plot or two plots or started a foundation? What have you done to those of us who have not started anything? It's not too late. God's time is the best. It's not too late. We're, we're moving to Christmas now. Christmas is coming. They begin to make plans for New Year. Begin to make plans. You stay too long in that country where you are. Some of us have done 20 years. Some of them have done 30 years. Some of them have done 30, 7 years. So some, of, some of our people don't, do not even know when they're going to return back to the country where they, are, where they come from. Some people are still uh, 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 hiding here and there. Some of us, some of the, some of our fans, some of our, the, our resilient friends, don't even know whether they're going to go back to Nigeria, uh, Africa. Well, whether you're going to go back or you're not going to go back, you should know. You should know what you are doing. You should be able to get. You should, should be able to make make sensible judgments, sensible plan, sensible you know uh, 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 thing with the with the resources, with the money that comes here. All right, let me read this. What kind of house? Would you advise someone not living in Nigeria to build someone who will be good, who will, who will be going to Nigeria once or twice a year? Right. You can you can do a two um, a four bedroom um, two bedroom flat um, two two units of two bedroom flat. You can do two units of two bedroom flat. Um, what's that? Um, make a bungalow attached with two flats. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Th thank you for that. Uh, not being watched. Thank you for, con for contributing today. Well, bring your contribution. Let's, let's ruminate together. Now, the year is coming to an end. Please do not rule anything out. Anything is possible because so many development has taken place. You see the, the man that has the series 1 to 10. He's the one who, who I told you some of the fans are doing very well on this forum. They are doing great things. They are, doing, they are building houses. They are buying land. They are doing their building plans. They are doing their survey. They are doing their uh, approval of their land. People, things, good things are happening. Please join the league of people who are forward thinking, who are progressing. This is a progressive channel. A progressive channel. A channel who don't look at you, who give you idea of what you can do with your money. This is a channel. A channel where... People don't sit back and say, well, yes, I can eat my burger, I can eat my, uh, my, 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 my Chinese rice, I can eat, no. Food for the belly, plan for the brain, plan for the future, plan for, the, for, for, for your ret retirement, get, uh, get into estate management in Nigeria, in Africa. 
This is where you can put uh, money down and get 100% profit. What are you doing with that? So you can buy the, you, the cars that you are, you, are, you, are, you are driving. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Bear with me. I need to adjust something here. Oh, sorry. System is playing up. I need to get rid of that. Uh, sorry, I need to get rid of that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Sorry. Yeah, um, if I'm not in Nigeria, okay, right. So, um, we need to uh, be mindful of our, 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 our I mean, the, the place where we are. We're not going to be here forever, okay? We're not going to be in this terrain. The terrain is now winter time in, in Europe and in America. All, some, of the, some of the places are not the best of places to, to live now. If you haven't done anything this year, don't worry. It's not, it's not the end of it. But you can always start. Right? You can make plans for a new year and say, even if I'm good, even if I'm going to borrow money, I'm going to borrow money. Even if I'm going to sell some of the things that I've been spending, I've been wasting money on, I'm going to sell it. And please be careful. To those of you who are buying land now, don't rush to buy land in Lagos. Don't rush to buy land in Lagos. Because Lagos land now, you have to do this. You have to, they insist that you have to do your CO4. You have to, no, no, not CO4. You have to get your approval done before you, before you start building, building anything. But in some other states, it's not that difficult. Good state or your state. So if you can get somewhere about 20 miles, 20 minutes, not 20 miles, 20 minutes drive or 20 minutes by transport link to Lagos, it's not bad. And it's, as long as it's, it's a well-developed, well, well not necessarily developed, the people are moving in droves, they are going to places now moving, there's no place that is village now. And but what I intended to say, to do today, was to give you some of the bad bank practices of these contractors. Oh, thank you. Um, thanks for your help. Thank you. Um, how much does it cost to buy 100 by 100 land in Lagos Island? Not the flooded area. <laughs> like, like, I don't get involved in land, land, land in Lagos anymore. It, it, it is beca it's becoming a, a life, a life, lifelong thing. It's becoming a, 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 um, something that uh, I don't get involved anymore. It's too, it's too, too tricky to buy land in Lagos because of the all the all the protocols that goes with it. So I'm not, I don't get involved in it anymore. Okay, so um, guys, all progressive guys that are uh, that have traveled out of Nigeria, that have traveled uh, to in UK, in US, in Singapore, in Malaysia, in Dubai. In Australia, in Canada, in UK, in in Europe or South Africa, anybody that have left the shores of Nigeria to improve their life, it is now. If you have not started any project at all, you should start thinking of something great, something something wonderful, something that you can say yes. Uh, when you look at the pictures, I have done something. No, it doesn't ma matter. Whether you don't change 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 5 years, 50 years, don't, don't ever think that you cannot go back to the, to the country anymore. The country is good. Country Nigeria is a place. It's a place to be now. It's a, it's a place that investment is working. Just make sure that you start something. You'll be glad that you do. Because all the things that you, you are not, you're not borrowing money. When any house you build in Nigeria, it's your money. Nobody, you're not taking mortgage to do that. So let, let's let's be, let's be sincere to ourselves. This is a progressive channel. Please subscribe. Please uh, 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 send the link to people that they should come on and they should watch videos. Videos that will, they will that will touch them, that will change their life. Videos that will stop them from running, wasting money. Videos that that will not make them to be conned. Videos that will not make them to lose money. Videos 
that will tell them how they are not how, whether how they are going to make make good use of the invest of the money that they have. There's a video here that will make you to you know that to make an assessment of yourself in the country where you are. When you do an assessment, it doesn't matter whether you're a woman or a man. Now, let me, let me just put it this way. I'm going to stop there. You women, please don't jump. Don't be too emotional. When people start, when these contractors start telling you some, some technical terms, find out. Ask questions. Contact people like us. Ask people, how, how is it done? What they were telling somebody recently, parapet. They, they, ask, they, they overinflate, contractors overinflate figures. Do not get stuck or sucked into their malpractice. Don't get sucked into their, into the, into their, into their fine way of, of presenting things. Some of them don't even know half of what you know. You, say, you, you, see, you know the truth. You, you, you see the truth and the truth is, will set you free. Some of these contractors are just, they are just, don't, they don't know anything. They don't have any knowledge. Some of them go around asking questions before they come to you. Some of these contractors don't know anything. Before you, anybody that's mentioned something to you, you say, well, hold on. I will come back to you. Don't rush to put money down. Don't rush to, to if any contractor mentions anything to you, text me. Text people. Who have been there? Who have built? Who have built houses? Who have bought houses? Who have bought land? Who have been doing things in, uh, similar to what you are doing? Say, ask them. What do they call? Somebody to ask uh, told one of my the fans. Oh, exactly. I'm a woman, but I have learned a lot since I started my project. Great. That is what we are saying. But to be honest with you, these contractors. Sorry, bear with me. I need to clear something from the screen. These contractors, they manipulated, they manipulate women a lot. They manipulate them. So men still, they find men a little bit difficult, challenging to, to, to manipulate. But some, some men are out there as well who don't know anything innocently in, 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 abroad. They want to just want to start as a young man who has been swindled. Up to, up to, they have not even reached the roof level. They have taken 40 million. So you have to be very careful here. You have to be very, very, very careful. They've taken 40 million naira from foundation. It's a land that they bought in Lekki or Aja or something. They done the foundation. They done German floor. They did the wind. They, they, they done the they done to winter level. They they, they 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 want to collect more money to do the the roofing, but they have extracted. They have siphoned. They have sucked this money to it. He's giving them in total 40 million naira. 40 million naira will complete a bungalow, will complete some houses in some other places. So don't get stuck into that. When they mention something to do with iron rod, the size of the iron rod, there are there are there is 8 mm iron rod, there is 10 mm iron rod, there is uh, six, 15 mm iron rod, there is 16 mm iron rod. When they are talking about size of blocks. Blocks is nine inches and six inches. Ask questions if you don't know. Don't just accept whatever they bring to you. Don't fall victim. Don't get sucked into their plans. They take money when they ask you to bring two million, three million, four million. Half of that money they are collecting from you, they are spending it to, to their girlfriends. They are spending it to their family. They are half of it before they even start your project. Let me be honest with you. They were trying to spend half of this money to their to their women around. They go to big parlor, beer parlor. They go to uh, uh, no, not only beer parlor. They go to restaurants. They eat the food that you yourself that doing the hard work in in abroad. Don't eat. They enjoy it. When they spend half of that money, after finishing half of that money, they now remember to start your project. They now remember to start your project. And one of the tactics that they, I was telling one of my fans who is going to start a project next week, right? Once the moment you start questioning them, they know that you have already been, been some people have been coaching you. Once you start questioning them, what is this, what is that? What, can you explain this? Can you tell me 
how many blocks, how many this, how, how many six inches, how many nine inches from the window level. Once you start questioning them, they start stopping picking your calls. Now, when they ask for money, don't rush to give them. They ask for twenty thousand pounds. Sorry, when they ask for two million, give them one eight hundred thousand. Don't always release the money easily to them when they ask for money. Don't always, always release, 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 release. They will know that the money is so easy. And you and I know that it's not easy to get money from abroad. Some of you borrow the money from banks with a higher, 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 higher interest flow. Some of you take, take money from your credit card with a high interest rate. Some of you, some of you are using overdraft with a high interest rate. So they don't know how this money, they just thought, yeah, as, as those, those, of them, those, those guys that still uh, cast to go and sell in Nigeria, they thought that's how everybody is. No, everybody is not like that. Everybody doesn't do fraud. Everybody here, they, everybody abroad, they do hard work. They, 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 after paying their bills, whatever that is left, and when it's not left, they borrow money from bank or use their credit cards or overdraft to do what they need to do. So when, you, when they ask for money, and they, they want much, they want uh, 5,000 blocks. Give them 2,000 blocks. The moment they realize that you are checkmating them, they, they, will, they, will, they, will, they will know that you, they, 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 they find you difficult to manipulate. When they mention anything regarding um, such a way, ask people like us, ask questions, right? Don't let them nominate. Or 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 or, or uh, 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 recommend people that will supply the granite or any of the materials. Look around, ask around. Who else can supply you this thing? Not the contractor that you have given it to. Because when you make it difficult for them, then you will not lose money. You will not throw money away. You will not throw that hard earned money away. You will not throw the money just any money. Money is so difficult to get. I still need your advice on what kind of house to build. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, I, I, I've been carried away. Right. You can build um, a four, four, uh, four unit of uh, two, two, two numbers of three bedroom flats downstairs, two numbers of three bedroom flats upstairs, or you do uh, three and two. Three bedroom, one three bedroom, one two bedroom, one three bedroom up, one two bedroom. So you can keep a flat of two bedroom and let let the three flats out. So four flats, yeah, four flats on a on a, on a plot of land with a with a view of retaining one flat for yourself. But don't put so many facilities and amenities there. So that's not something that you, you, you use all the year round. You don't want the bad boys to come and break in and steal some of the items in the house. So like I was saying, I've answered your, uh, make you change now. I've answered your, your question. Please, I've got, I've um, overstayed a little bit. I need to round up in the next five minutes. Um, I've done 33 minutes now. I've got, I will do seven more minutes and I, I will, I'm round up for today. Right, so like I was saying, um, when they ask for cement, cement, this is where they make a lot of money from. When they ask for 200 bags of cement, give them 50 bags first. Give them 50 bags. You're not, they're not the one, you're not, they're not the one, you're, they're, 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 you're the one paying for them. You're the paying one for this. And if you have time to go home, you can go home. Right? If they ask if, uh, if the welder, if it gets to the issue of the welder, like I was saying, do not accept any recommended workmen from the contractor that is helping you to build the house. Scout round, source round your own workmen. If you want our recommendation, we can give you. Do not let them dictate to you. So, when they ask for um, uh, uh, 200,000 Naira, give them 80,000 Naira. Just make it, don't make it so 
as it's so easy to get the money. I know the money is there, you, you save it somewhere, but don't always release it as they ask you. Because as they ask for the money, when their, 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 job, their, their behavior is like that of the bailiff. When the bailiff is asked to go and collect money from somebody, he will first take his own portion of profit out of the money before giving it to the owner. So they, they, part of the money, they spend some of this money to themselves before they start the project. So like I, was, like I said, but when you now begin to query, question, what is this done, what is that done, they start, they realize that you are so difficult to manipulate and they start slowing down and if you have been giving them so much money before, it will now be the time that they will not be picking your phone anymore. You will call them in the morning, it's, it's engaged. If it's not engaged, the it, 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 phone is switched off. So those are the kind of bad, bad practices that some of these bad, bad contractors do. And then they collude. If you are on ground, like you that you said you are on ground, if you are on ground, if you allow them, to take you to where they've already mani they've already made an arrangement to, to, to add money to some of these products. You just wasted your time by following them because they've already gone behind you to go and speak to that contractor that I'm bringing a, a, a dumb, a, 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 a dumb uh, uh, owner that when he comes or when she comes, you just tell them this is the price you should call the product. The, if the product is being sold for 20,000 naira, they would have come back because obviously they know that they is the one that's always supplying them the high product. They would have gone behind and asked the man, uh, asked the supplier to add some money to it. Whereby, after you long gone, you will think you are there. You saw what happened. You will think how oh, you have been you 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 are a watchdog. You watch them. You follow them down there. You pay the money. No, that is not the case. When you turn your back and you you went home, they are going to ring each other back, and they will make arrangement of how they can distribute and divide the, the money between themselves. So some of these things are things that you should be very very mindful of. It is very common nowadays. And what your your, 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 your estimate, your estimate, uh, there's a percentage, uh, the lab, labor, labor is very cheap, especially when you want to do foundation, when you want to do, do foundation, get your laborers yourself. The laborers will be able to dig and uh, you'll be able to control the amount that you pay the laborers. So what I'm trying to say, don't fall victim of these practices of these contractors. Don't fall victim of the smart way of how they make so much money from the material code before they even start the job at all. Don't fall victim. And those of you that have not bought any land, please don't fall victim of the kind of city of sale. I've had a very bad experience of, uh, 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 not bad, not me, a client and a, 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 a fan who is on this forum has been so uh, 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 was sold a land that was sold to five different people in Le in Lagos. Five different the 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 Omoni, the, 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 Omoni the people that owns the land sold the land to five five prominent people. When this land got to the issue, they got to the court. The first person it was when this man wanted to start to build on the land that the, the issue the story changed. They said that some people just came, came, came that day and they stopped them, they stopped the contractor from doing the project. So only to, to find out that the land has been sold to four, four other people. So he was the fifth person. He lost his three million naira. He lost the money of the materials. Obviously, materials, granite that they have bought, are put on the site, the, 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 the blocks. Uh, that they are bought, they cannot return some of these blocks, they cannot return granite that has already been poured down by Tipa. Who's going to take it? The man lost so much money, and it's like only God will help. So you have to be very, very careful and be very, very smart. Okay, I have got just a few seconds, I've got a round up now. Um, I'll try if I can manage this um, equipment that I've just been able to use.
to talk to you to, to the to, 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 to talk to my fans, my lovely fans that, that have been supported. I want to say thank you to new subscribers, some new friends, some new fans. Uh, the sub subscribers which, uh, of these channels are growing day by day. They are wonderful people. You are excellent, hardworking, resilient, forward thinking, goal getter, progressive Nigerians, Africans on this channel. I so much like you. So much, all of you that have been attentive, some of you that have been great work there, that are, that are doing in that country, that has been supporting that country, keep doing what you are doing. You will reach your destination. Don't forget the, the place where you came from. Don't forget the son of who you are. Try as much as possible as you have pushed yourself to stabilize your stay in the country where you are. As you have pushed yourself to follow the law of the land, doing the diligent work, supporting and doing the hard work in the companies where you're working. Try as much as possible. Try and carve out something. Carve out something. Time waits for nobody. Carve out something. It's tough. I've been told that the people that do the face mask when they were when they were doing it is very tough. It's very hot. It's very painful. But when it becomes when it heals. It becomes a very beauty. It becomes a beauty. So you have to strain yourself. You strain yourself to stabilize your stay in that country. You strain yourself to work for that job and that business that you are doing in that country. You strain yourself to get your mortgage. You strain yourself to pay the rent. You strain yourself to pay all the bills and all the, 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 the taxes of that country. Then it's now, now time to work for yourself. It's now time to now begin to to, to look towards the progress of establishing something back from the country, back into the country where you came from. It's also good that you have pumped and supported and helped friends and families back at home. That also, if you look at, if you look at right from the beginning of the year, the amount of charity money which you have done for people, both in the country where you are and out of the country where you are and back home where you came from. That's a lot of money. Some people will not enlighten you. Some people will not advise you to go and start a project in Nigeria. Some people will not advise you. They will just be asking to bring, 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 collect, 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 collect from you. The person who tells you to start a project or start something, he, he loves you. They like you. They want your progress. This is what we're, this is a progressive channel. This is a channel that wants your progress, that wants you to do very well, that don't want you to be lost in the crowd, don't want you to be lost in a foreign country, don't want you to be to be Joneses all over in that, that country. You, you take the resources, don't let the resources end, finish in where you are. Take the resources and earmark something and start something. It's not too late. There is no time that is too late for anybody to make a progress. Progress is anytime, it's lifelong. So please, I'm begging you, I'm, I'm, I'm letting, telling you now, it is an important thing as the year is running to an end, estimate and evaluate what you have done right from the beginning of the year. You've been so good and I appreciate all of you that have been supporting this channel, that have been watching my video. You can see the adverts that comes on. Thank you. Let the adverts roll. Let the one or two things be paid so that we can be able to get equipment. Some of my equipment are getting... Uh, uh, no, no, no. I mean, the equipments are not really good at the moment, so that's why I'm not coming on here all the time. So I try to manage to use a scrambled something tonight to be able to speak to my lovely fans worldwide, progressive people, intelligent people, wonderful people, excellent people, in, uh, interesting people, good people. Be God fearing people, hard working people, resilient people. You are amazing people. You are amazing fans. New fans that have joined us, please extend this channel to people. Please don't let we don't want you to get calm. You've done so well to be sta to be stable where you are. So I do not believe the lies that they are saying that if you come home, they kill them. If you come home, they will take your money away. No people, what if you go home and nothing happens to you? Don't believe the lies. It's Nigeria. Nigerians, you, as long as you pay them, give them what they want, they will always support. And, and I want to stop here. I, um, I've, I've done 44 minutes. I need to stop at 45 minutes so that I can rest my voice. You are resilient and wonderful people. I appreciate you. You've been amazing. Merci beaucoup. All my French fans, all the fans, all global fans, 
these are these are Nigerians that have want pro we want progress for ourselves. We don't want to pull ourselves down. We're not pulling ourselves down. We want to go up higher and higher, and then we want to create a great platform so that we know that Nigerians are wonderful. They are beautiful people, African people. I mean, this is like, we are wonder. We are good. We want to. Stop, I want to stop here now. I, I, I mean, I, I find it difficult to leave you guys, Messi Boko, worldwide people, global people. Heart to mean and 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 and, and, and uh, help you. We are we are very helpful. We are very diligent. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Till I see you again on this beautiful and lovely channel. Please share the good news. Spread the good news. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you. Bye bye and good night. Right, I need to go now. Uh, oh no. Right, um, oh sorry, there's something wrong with the system now. Uh, security code, okay. I'll see now. Oh, wow, this is how to do it. Oh, sorry, I saw super, something just happened now, super chat. Super, super chat, some people can purchase super chat. As, I don't know, it just came up. I think uh, Google has, has been selling super chat now. Super chat purchase. Purchases, purchase to support the channel. This is going to be coming up, coming on once on once a while. Once you say, please, if you can afford it, buy the super chat. is is always um on the side there. There's something to do with super chat. Um, if you want to buy super chat, um, I think uh, Google is selling it. To support channel. So I'm, 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 uh, like I said, have a good evening, have a good time. Thank you, wonderful people. Thank you. Bye bye.